Back in the kitchen, Jason Atherton is raring to go. And since he owns a restaurant nearby, he's replaced the undersized fillets that were delivered earlier. He's now using slow-matured caster bridge beef with his ox cheek, smoked pom puree and marrow bone. It's not a change he wanted to make, but he hasn't taken it too badly. I'm sort of um, nervous, apprehensive, confident. You know, it's sort of a mixed bag today, really, and it's really... They almost make it as if it's mine to lose. Jason's pan-frying his new fillets in butter. It's interesting to see him cooking with Glyn because they recognise one another as kindred spirits. They don't do boring. No, I like controversy. I, like, I, like, I want to be known as a chef who sort of didn't just sit back and say, oh, you know, I cook safe food, because I don't think I'm a safe chef. No, no, I don't think so either. Um, I mean, somebody that comes here and puts a BLT in a, in, in a glass in the elegance and style that you did shows that you're not a safe chef, you know? Yeah. It shows that you're willing to push the boundaries and have a go, you know? And all you can do is have a go. The beef can be left for a few minutes while Jason gets on with pan-frying his slow-cooked marrow bone. He was neck and neck with Tom Kitchen in the first two rounds, and now Scotland's champion has come to see how his close rival is doing. Me off today. I know, I'm going to try to. Huh? <laughs> me off. No? I, want, I need to shake you in the right direction. <laughs> you know, don't be shaking you off if you're going to go up. Yeah, exactly, huh? exactly. If I'm going to go up, then you want to stay with me. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Likewise. Hold on to your coattails. Likewise, <laughs> that's it, yeah. Surely they can't get equal marks again today. Jason's beef fillets are ready to be plated or plattered up with the ox cheek, smoke pom puree and marrow bone. He thinks the way it looks is almost as important as the way it tastes. Some chefs are not that finicky about that, but it's, for me it's like a really important part of the, the whole dish. Yeah. Really. Fantastic presentation. Mm. But the thing is, if you started uh, sending out in a restaurant in Birmingham, they'd probably nick them. <laughs> Jason adds the finishing touch, a drizzle of cooking liquor, and it's ready for the chamber. OK, service guys. Jason, or yeah, just, just like that. Let's go. OK, where you go? Really serious main course, mate. And just count the knives on the way back as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah nick. It's the final dish of the day. But will the replacement beef fillets let Jason down? Gosh. We've well, gone up a level on appearance, haven't we? You know, Excalibur. I just think it's so beautiful. It is. smells so good. So, I must say, that the great it's advantage of, of these knives is that it would make any meat f seem amazingly tender. This is perfect cooking. I can't, you know, I've been looking forward to this dish and I have not been let down. He had to change, didn't he, this little beef. Can you tell the difference? It still tastes amazing. I just had mine with a piece of bone marrow. It was so <laughs> delicious. You know, any chef can, p can put a lot of ingredients on a plate. It takes great chef to put a few ingredients on a plate. This is a dish of few ingredients hey, on no, a plate. Hey, it's not that. There's not that few. There's a smoked potato. There are two sorts of beef cooked in different ways. The second, the beef cheek has a little um, a crust of uh, breadcrumbs on top, yep. which is slightly soggy, by the way. There's actually quite no. a lot going on on okay, the plate. I mean, I'm sorry, yes, it's not... No. The it's simplicity is illusory. No, I think that's in it, to its favour. I think well, that actually what he's I, done I, is I, sublimate all that or bring all that technical um, variety sure. actually make it seem very simple. It's actually a very complex dish. I think that's important to show foreign mm. chefs, you know, that, that mm. beef in Britain is that good, because mm. that beef is that good. Do you know, for me, this has the gherkin written all over it. I would be so proud to see this at that dinner. <laughs>